Buenos días, Buenos Aires. Buenos días, mi amores. <laughs> mis aquí, amores. Mis amores de Argentina. Yes, guys, welcome to Buenos Aires City. We are walking for the streets of San Telmo. San Telmo, Buenos Aires. San Telmo, Buenos Aires. Yes. yes. Look at the, the tables. This is like things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Know? So we are heading to have some food and I want to take Marwa to El Mercado de San Telmo. San Telmo is a very old but beautiful neighborhood that's still very alive. You have to this, even if in very, very alive. Yes. Careful. And in this this market has a lot of from food from from food to sit and eat and food to just to buy and go cook in your home and, and a lot of things more. It's a little bit cold but now it's getting sunny. Even though but Madada is uh, look even the locals it's have freezing. jackets. It's freezing, and, yeah for and sure. Look Rocio's shoes. Yes. Is what the next <laughs> yeah. Those are like uniforms for. Oh, Argentina. this is the entrance of El Mercado de San Telmo. Okay. This is exactly yeah. Mercado de San Telmo. It's so, very old, very popular, mm -hmm. and we will be able to have some food to okay, start guys. the day. You wanna yes. go inside? Yes. Funny enough, police is smoking. That's normal. Ah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Like yeah, they're, they're not restrict. Like police cannot smoke. No. <laughs> okay, go, let's go. Look at the streets, guys. It's actually so nice. Yes. <laughs> guys, these are the famous Argentinian alfajores. Argentina what? Alfajores. I will show you soon what it is. But Everybody's like... Yeah, Havana is like the most famous brand. We have jugos for Marva. Yes. He likes it. And hola. And I don't know what, what, what we want. You know, this is when I was telling you that I like that in Argentina we have the grocery that we don't buy. That I never buy the uh, grocery in the supermarket. This is how a grocery looks like here. You know, everything fresh, fresh. Argentina has amazing stuff. Okay, we will find some food. <laughs> yes. Guys, this is what I love about this type of markets. All things. All things. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, cartoon stories actually from what Argentina. Is the name? She she's Mafalda. 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 Okay. It's a beautiful, it's actually a comic okay. from an Argentinian author that I have read and some, you can find it in many languages guys if you want to go and read Mafalda I really recommend it because I love her personality Mafalda, uh, she's a very, she's a free thinker, you know she used to think very different than the common of the people it's and actually she's, a, she's a defensor show the name she's Mafalda Mafalda, guys, go and read Mafalda. Like, oh, she's like the you won't regret. Girl. You won't regret. Her personality is the best. Like complaining against systems and things like that. Oh. <laughs> That's why I like her so much. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Mafalda, I see. Yeah. Look, everything that you can buy. Yeah. So we are now in the stuff. Stuff shop, but we should find food. Food, ma'am. Let's go back to the food area. Watch out. Okay. Top over it. Guys, we stop in a um, Spanish Spanish food restaurant actually because Mara found some food with vegetables and not too much meat. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be my struggle. If I don't cook here, I will have to struggle 100 percent. Because, for example, this one is a very good plate, looks very nice. So these are tapas, tapas. But uh, 
tapas en Spanish eh, en Spain. Yeah, wait, wait, let me, let me talk. <laughs> en, en Spain, uh, this is very famous to go to a tapa bar. So tapas is like a snack that they give you while you drink your drink and they serve you something while you wait for the main meal. In this case they gave you this, they gave us this which has some olive, tomato and this which is embutido but this one is made with pork and Marwa doesn't like it. I'm gonna have my Kumawiki Argentina bowl and some What's the name of the berenjena? Well, you will see guys. Marra is waiting for a chicken with some vegetables. Yeah. This is guy what I was telling you. I totally forgot the name. Eggplant. 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 Okay, everything vegetarian guys. Even though I'm in the, the capital of meat worldwide. We're going vegetarian. Guys, we are now in the main area of the capital city in Buenos Aires. This is where the big movement happens. This building is called El Cabildo. This is where the revolution of Argentina happened on the 25th of May in 1810, where the people were reclaiming freedom from the Spanish kingdom to become after that an independent country named Argentina and over there that is the government house the La Casa Rosada the pink house this is where the president is supposed to has its office you so, have you've been here before right yeah I've been here many times yeah okay I just wanted to know if right now the president is, is inside there or not <laughs> And again, that, I, think, I don't know. How, I think there's always like a sign, something that uh, is is selling if the president is inside I think, or. I think Calle Florida should be somewhere there. Then. Uh, I remember I used to walk. Yeah, like so, uh, one of the like. Oh, the the, yeah, inside there. Probably we're looking for. San Telmo is that is that side? So our hostel is in that this spot. Afib, Afib is the. It's the institution that makes you pay taxes and control your money and your business and if you pay, if you don't. Over there is Puerto Madero. If we keep walking oh, that the, way, it's Puerto Madero. Place. It's like the... Most elite area. Yeah, with offices and business area. Even restaurants, right? Yeah, also even restaurants. I'm told a lot of uh, footballers. They like to hang around there. Hang around in Puerto Madero. Yes, yes, yes. But so far the day is turning nice. It's like 2 p.m. already. We had some lunch. And now we are looking for Calle Florida. Calle Florida is where we can actually found, find people that is changing money because we need to change from US dollars to Argentinian pesos and something that is important to know in Argentina even every time I come back to my country I'm shocked about the economy like when we come back to the hostel I will show you last time I came here the biggest note it was 1000 bill I came back yesterday and the ATM gave us a new note of 10,000 can you imagine guys it's just one zero extra it looks like a lot of money extra, but it's nothing. It's like $10 only because now $1 equates 1,000 Argentinian pesos, but we have two types of dollars. The official is 1,000 approx, which is the one that the bank actually gives you, the government, the official price that the government has. But then we have the dollar blue, which is now like 1,000, 1,280 that's the day for today you have to check every day every day changes so I will explain you later how this thing works because it's quite complicated it's not really easy to understand and but yes now we are heading there so we can have some change okay let's go see La Casa Rosada imagine we should be doing this after we finish our business yeah. 
Argentina, we still live in life. <laughs> hey guys, I swear I have the best wife. <laughs> Sometimes uh, Maro and I we struggle, struggle with the food. Yeah. But when it comes to fruits, we are one. Yeah, hundred percent. We are one. This is not our this. our Sorry. happiness. I was watching your blog actually. My blog, guys, my blog from yes our trip is already out there what wow, is doing very well travel with us to my home country in argentina in the last vlog guys yes you can go and watch it anyway guys uh, yeah. we are new here in argentina yeah. let's see how life will take us starting a new home here hey there's a lot a lot of vlogs for you guys the best thing you can do is subscribe <laughs> Yes. Let's reach Ro Cabrera 100k. Yes. I'm very sure we can. Yes. And also, just a small hint, Ro Cabrera wants to do home bathing. So if you subscribe, you may be very lucky to see what home bathing is. <laughs> hey. Guys, we are in Buenos Aires still. We are in a, a small um, hostel room. Yes. Um, so that's why we, we have a kitchen to do some meals. I yes. prepared these fruits. Mm -hmm. I went just around the corner and there was a grocery store. Yes. And I made some tincher tea yes. with lemon for me and Maro as well. And of course, let me show you. Let me let me bring you with me to the kitchen. All right. Can I eat but, now with my dada? Yes, leave some for me for a hundred percent. So okay. we come and enjoy. Okay. Guys, look at my design, how I make things more beautiful. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> That's not a good wife. <laughs> good wife of We are in the room number one. He has a small... This guy is a typical, typical Buenos Aires house from years ago. This is how it looks like. A backyard. Very nice. Um, this is the kitchen. We're staying in a very nice hostel in a neighborhood called San Telmo, which is very nice. I like it. You see, even the design of the doors, they have kept the they have kept like the how it used to be from before. Let me turn the slice on. This is a kitchen, very spacious. I really like it's comfortable to work. I'm boiling more tea here. Some ginger and lemon. I served myself already because I did uh, more before. And guys, I want to show you this. This is Argentinian pastry. Oh, it got wet. Argentinian pastry that I've been craving for, <laughs> but now let me find uh, something to put it. This plate, I think, is perfect here. Yeah. A small one. This is media luna de dulce de leche, and it looks like this. It's like a croissant, if you know what a croissant is. And this 
is the famous Argentinian dulce de leche. This is like every Argentinian loves this. We call it media luna. Half a moon. That's what is media luna in Espanol. I bought two of them to have some sweetness with a tea. Delicious for um. We have we have lunch today. And our dinner will be those fruits. The fruits, a tea. In my case, I will add this. I know Marra will try, but he's not a fan of these things. Which is good that you're not a fan of this type of things because things because you eat this every day and you will look like a bowl. But anyway, let me wait for my tea. And mm, it feels so cozy, so cozy. <laughs> My parents. Yeah, go to my dad. Somebody commented, "Maro, behave." <laughs> when we meet Rosina's parents, I'm eating some lemon. Maro got a cold. I've got a cold. Guys, it's another day, and we are leaving Buenos Aires to go finally to my city. Uh, we are in Terminal Retiro. This is the big bus station uh, where you want to go anywhere in the country or even outside the country in a bus you have to come here but be very careful because in this place big pockets like crazy we almost got robbed guys with the most strange and new technique tactic, tactic. you can see that in Maro's videos but show them the yeah picture. and yeah Right outside this uh, terminal, this bus station, there is a a, a big ghetto. neighborhood. They say this ghetto, is, in yeah, ghetto in English. But they say yes. Ghetto. Yes. It's not really like ghetto. It looks nice houses, but let's say the people live there. Sometimes they can have issues. Exactly. Like yeah. to steal or something like that. Exactly. Exactly. Guys, we are smelling terrible because the tactic of this people to try to rob us they drop something from above that smells terrible 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 so that's how we almost got distracted when we were like realizing that Mara had something dropping in his hair and the jacket and then then me we thought it was like a pigeon you know but it wasn't nothing like a pigeon and suddenly Not there was like a lady pigeons, yeah yeah but there was too much to be a pigeon that didn't look like a pigeon feces and then there was a lady that was she was ready with one of these these are tissue papers she was ready to help me to clean myself to clean she my came by herself. yeah she appeared out of nowhere sitting on a chair there and then when she was trying to distract me very much to oh you have in your hair you have here you have all over you know and Marwa and I was very keen with my stuff because when someone comes to help you so much like that and also is touching you, I was trying to be very keen with my bags. But Marwa at the same time noticed that there was another guy approaching us that he was able to see, but I didn't see because she was distracting was me so super much. Super close to our bags. Super close like to our bags. Here and there. Like yeah. A hand stretch. Uh -huh. Like this. And imagine, I didn't see that guy. I didn't see because she was she was like turning me. You're here, like she was distracting me so much. But Mara was able to see the other guy, and then they just left. Nothing really happened. We didn't got soul. No, the thing is, I looked at the guy two times. Yeah. First time he was very close to our bags. Yeah. So I looked at him like this. Then I turned around as to see what's going on with you. Yeah. Then coming back, the guy, first when I looked at him, he was he there again. Uh -huh. Then I, when I looked back to you to see what's going on, I'm like, again, it's 
coming back, the guy was already, ah, I realized there's something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I noticed because it was very strange that this lady had these tissues ready to help me. Ready to help me, you know, it's like she had them in her hands. It was, it was, there was something strange. That's what I was trying to be careful with my bags because she was touching me. And yeah, and then after the police approach us, after, to ask after us, after like three minutes, three minutes, one police officer with yeah. uniform showed up. Hey, yeah. what's going on? Hey, what's going on? They dropped something to you? No, yeah, I said yes. I said, uh, so then another group came to ask us if we were able to remember how they look like and they told us yes guys they are pungas. Pungas is how we call, it's a slang to call a pickpocket. So we were very lucky, <laughs> we were very lucky. But the first thing I said when we arrived in this terminal was this place is tricky, we need to be careful. Uh, but. Well, we were very that, close. When, when something like that happens to you, don't stop. Keep walking. Yeah, yeah. Then you can clean Put in another, in another clean. place. Yeah. No, don't be like, oh, what's this? What's dropping on me? Yeah, because actually, they dropped something on Marwa, but nothing on me at that time. And when we stopped to notice to what's going on to this, they drop on me. And that's when I realized, oh my God, now it's also me. I was telling Rosue, hey, let's get out. And, uh, yeah. But yeah guys, be very careful as you see these things happen all over the world but they have their strategies, they have their strategy, the tactics, they are very very keen, they have everything planned, so be very careful, everywhere you go be very careful, we are living in beautiful Buenos Aires.
They are shy. Camera are this shy. This killer guy is, has blocked them. <laughs> yeah. I think you can but see But I think they, they haven't they seen They have not seen you. No. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. No, we should we should wave. Look, look. That is Rocio's statue. Uh, yeah, they see us there. They have not. They are there. They are there. No. Oh my god, this is Let's go. <laughs> I am three lovers. I'm okay. already sweating. <laughs> and guys, they're looking, they're I looking, am... they're trying to find us. Oh, oh okay. Rocio's dad. Yeah, yeah, we're to see a black guy coming out. Rocio, yes. be the first one to come out. Okay, okay. Okay. Let me just walk here. Oh my god, and my nose is running like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad day to meet you Yes, exactly. Guys, that's my dad and my mom. Yeah, right there. <laughs> they are in great. They haven't seen. I think we have a good camera. Yeah. Let's go with my pies. Oh my god. Holy, holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hola. Hola. ¿Dónde está mi nieto? Oh, oh nieta. Your parents cry, you see. I could hold the camera for you, mom. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hola. We go take our bags, Rocio. Sí. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go with the bag. Okay. Oh my God! Your parents are so emotional, Rocio. <laughs> yeah. Even you cried. Uh, Rocio, that's no, not no. our bag. This is this one. And the bigger one? Yes. Wow, it looks like this one. Hola. Wow. Oh, so even you cried? Of course, I saw my mom crying. And the dad also cried. Me, I'm holding my tears. Maybe being African, you don't cry, cry. <laughs> <laughs> So they are checking our bags. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Give him a thousand. Yeah. Wow. Very emotional. Muchas gracias. Sí. Okay, Rocio. Hold this. Uh, your camera, so we can go. Okay, guys. I'm crying, crying. Crying, crying. Crying, crying. Okay. Okay guys, welcome to Mar de Plata. <laughs> okay. And they are greeting the grandchildren inside. Yes. Ganola. Oh, no. Hello. Again, again. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go home. Yeah. So my mom is Nila. Yes. My dad is Luis. Okay. Hello. Hola. 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 Un montón de gente estaba esperando este momento para conocerlos. Ah, mira vos, mira. I'm telling, I'm telling them a lot of people were waiting for to meet them. Yes. So finally, we are here. Yeah. Bueno, nuestra niña nos ha hecho llorar de alegría. They say that I'm the, I'm the her little, her little girl. Um, 
made us made them cry for happiness. <laughs> All right, we can go. Guys, I'm walking with my mom. Mara's walking with my dad. <laughs> Thinking of things. ¿Cómo estás, mamá? Bien, bien, bien. ¿Contenta? Bien, contenta, contenta. Okay. De recibirlo. Veremos qué nos dispara el destino. <laughs> A nosotros y a ellos. <laughs> Guys, this is a bus station in Mar del Plata. If, if you want to come take buses to travel okay. around from here. Okay. El lío de Buenos Aires. No. Guys, we have arrived to my dad's car. And we are heading <laughs> home now. Yes. And driver? Picture perfect. <laughs> Let me check with my phone. Okay. Con mi celular. que estaba tu padre para allá, para acá se falta la otra punta, a ver si lo veía. Bueno, mira, nosotros vos andás mirando. Mal, mal este, putear no puteamos a nadie. Nos divertimos nosotros, ¿viste? Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. I will take a short video. Okay. <laughs> so your parents. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, we here we met uh, uh, Rocio's uh, mom uh, and Rocio's dad. I want to say thank you so much, guys. <laughs> they came to pick us at the station. It's been very emotional. Uh, they both cried, but we'll see the video tomorrow. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Eh, muchísimas gracias. <laughs> 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 My dad's are you need to translate what you're saying. <laughs> they, don't <understand. laughs> they don't speak English, Como so it's, buena... everything's confusion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, explain to them. Rosie. Come on. Put this one. Rosie. See. You can help your mom to to, to drop the other one. Howdy. Guys, now we have a lot of bags. Maybe we can take one with us. Puedo cambiar esta para allá. Para allá. Guys, the weather is very nice. It's good, sunny day. El día está lindo. Sí. Eh? I will put Guys, we're gonna have some uh, <laughs> meal with my parents here. Uh, this is what we ordered. They are also having something else that is coming. Yes. 
How are you? Hi, my dad's were like, what are you saying? <laughs> so, guys, we are very happy to be here together. Super happy. It's actually very early because here in Argentina, for us, we don't eat dinner this early. At this time, my parents would be having some um, mate. 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 It's like the tea time. It's like a type of tea, a very Argentinian. I will show you very soon. I don't really drink it, that's why you never saw me drinking mate in the villa. But for now, we haven't eaten since this morning, so for us we need some some food. Really food. Real food. Yeah. So we're gonna enjoy. The oh, girl just lowered the music for us to be able to record. But imagine, we are just alone in the restaurant, because so nobody normal. goes out to eat dinner at this time. People came after 7, 7 p.m. That's where actually all the bars and restaurants start working as dinner, mm. you know. Tell people to check us on Instagram also. Like, uh, please guys, follow us on Instagram. We'll be giving follow you. us in inst on Instagram. Yeah. I am Marwa and Roca Brera Music. Maybe soon we'll open uh, Rocio's parents' um, YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Rocio's parents' YouTube. <laughs> In Spanish, guys, you have to learn Spanish. Okay. Anyway, let me finish this video here. We are very happy to finally arrive to enjoy some time with my family. And um, you will see more videos coming very soon. Very soon, we will show you the place where we are living. I'm very happy. We are super close from the ocean, from the beach. We have ocean view. That's like a dream come true. Um, so, yes. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us in our, our adventures, right. and we will see you soon, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Say bye, say bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. ¿Qué? Rocío, Rocío está muy contenta, pues está con su papito y su esposo. Entonces, ella está muy alegre. Está so, en su Argentina. Sí. Okay. So the dad has said you should explain. I will translate it. I will put subtitles. No, just tell yeah. them. Okay. So my my dad says that I am very happy because yeah. I'm with my 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 daddy, my yeah. daddy and mommy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he say it. And and my Argentina, my Argentina with my husband as well. So yeah. that's why I'm very, very happy. And that's right, true. Let's enjoy now the meal. <laughs>